So if you see representatives of our less, next Hall of Famer in the hallway this week, it might be worth your while to stop them and introduce yourselves to them. You may also want to give them a compliment or two. That's because our next Hall of Famer is one of the largest funders of public charter schools around the nation, the Walton Family Foundation. The Walton Family Foundation has invested more than one billion dollars in initiatives that expand parental choice and opportunity in education. That's right, one billion dollars. <laughs> Simply put, their generosity is unmatched, although we wish that it were. Um, the Walton Family Foundation has contributed more than 300 million dollars towards the creation of 1,400 charter schools around the country to date. And the foundation has also been the lead sponsor of many of our state charter school associations. Education is the foundation's number one priority. Students, families, communities, charter schools, and organizations from Minneapolis to New Orleans, from Albany to Los Angeles, and countless other communities in between have benefited from their support. In fact, I believe that many of us in this very room have received the grant from the Walton Family Foundation at some point in time. If you could please stand if you've been a recipient of a Walton Family Foundation grant. You can take a quick look. There you go, that says it all. The foundation's goal is to provide families with quality educational options. They believe that when families receive the power to decide where their children go to school, the game changes. That parents, especially lo in low-income communities, deserve high-quality, publicly funded school choices. And that empowered parents are a powerful driver to spur bold transformation in our education system. Receiving this award on behalf of the Walton Family Foundation is another friend and foot soldier, Ed Kirby, the Deputy Director of the K-12 Education Reform Sector for the Walton Family Foundation. The foundation really started in the late 1980s. My grandparents, Sam and Helen Walton, um, were really interested in giving back to their community as they started to look at what are the significant issues that are facing our country. Education came to the forefront of that. And right now we are all reading, trying to get our reading levels up. Mm -hmm. Our engagement in charter schools really began with my Uncle John. He began to get involved with Howard Fuller in the late 1980s, early 1990s in Milwaukee. Through his friendship with Howard Fuller, he brought us into understanding the incredible disparity that we have in our education system. So if you do 70, then it allows you to move on to the next thing. The beauty of John was he was totally committed to this notion of trying to, to radically reform education in America for low-income children. He was engaged in helping startup schools and looking at the legislation and making sure the legislation was good at the state level. Back when this all started, the foundation was one of the first entities to give support to advocacy work so that those of us who were out there trying to advocate to create the kind of legal and regulatory environments you need to create these schools. A lot of people think that we're not good enough because our school is like the east side. Right. And so then our goal is to prove them wrong. To show them that yeah. that's not, that doesn't matter where you live. Yeah. That's great. There are very few ed reform organizations in this country that have not been touched in one way or another by the generosity of the Walton Family Foundation. They supported the, the founding of the Black Alliance for Educational Options. They were there when we founded the Alliance for Public Charter Schools. Can you guys show me? We've seen greater achievement improvements in the students than the traditional public schools in the districts where we work. We've seen the rise of a number of really great CMOs and very high quality operators. We fund KIPP Foundation and their national growth as well as growth in different regions. 
We feel it's really critical to invest in startup of high quality schools at the individual site as well. And ACE is evidence of that and I think has been a great community asset to, to San Jose and they are changing the way that I think communities think about their schools. They really care about the students' success. If the kids are, you know, behind, they help them a lot and, and that's really true. So I was relieved to be able to choose the school for my daughter. I could not do the work that I do without the support of the Walden Family Foundation. There's not enough words really to express my appreciation to the family and to the foundation, you know, for their support. On behalf of the Walton family, the entire team at the Walton Family Foundation, thank you all so much. Thank you, Nina, and thank you, Howard Fuller, wherever you are today. I'd love to talk about our accomplishments at the foundation, but I'd much rather talk about yours. You know, until 1991, when America passed its first charter school law, our country had been writing a fairly tragic history for K-12 education. For most of the last century, our political leaders had decided that the academic formation of children in this country should be defined and controlled by the so-called expert judgment of state and municipal governments. As part of that plan, by design, parents were pushed to the side, stripped of power, and told to be satisfied with what they got. This tragic cycle of deliberate disempowerment of families has damaged and still damages tens of millions of American families to a degree that I think is unparalleled by any other failed social policy of the 20th century. That cycle of disempowerment is what our team's founder, John Walton, used to call a raw deal. And it's not just a raw deal, it's also a rigged deal. If you're a family in this country without the financial resources to buy your way out of a failed school or a failed system, you get stuck in the cycle. But 22 years ago, you, broke that cycle, and thank you, Minnesota. Over the past two decades, you've pioneered a movement to upend and smash the notion that government, not parents, should dictate the management, the values, the content, the very choice of a child's education. You all have also upended and smashed the failed notion that public education must be managed and controlled by large and largely unresponsive municipal school systems. You have built a movement now in which every year the families of nearly two and a half million American kids are back in charge. They attend more than 6,000 self-governed charter schools in which school leaders and school teachers have both the freedom to excel and the incentive to excel. You are taking power from those to whom it never rightfully belonged and placing it fully and firmly in the hands of parents, students, school leaders, and teachers. All of you are together writing a powerful story of success, not just by creating two and a half million new options, but by building options that are safer, academically better, 
and organizationally stronger than the competition. We urge you to stay on mission, and we'd like to challenge you to expand that mission, especially when it comes to advocacy. Expand that mission even beyond the interests of charter schools and charter school families. We'd ask you to join us and thousands of allies across the country fighting to empower all parents to exercise choice of all high quality educational options. Public sector options, private sector options, future options, all options. All of us at the Walton Family Foundation and every member of the Walton family are so inspired and so grateful for your work. Your relentless pursuit of performance, we hope that you please keep getting after it. We'll do our best to keep up. Thank you.